Hey, what's going on guys? TTL or Test Limit here, and in today's video, I'm going over the League of Legends um, MSI Mid-Season Invitationals uh, plays for 5-10-2022, so May the 10th, um, which is tomorrow morning in like 6-7 hours it begins. Um, the reason that I'm doing this, and I'm not going to do any CSGO today, is because I want to apologize for yesterday, um, slash today, yesterday's video. Um, I went zero for four this morning, I believe. It could have been one for four, but I stopped paying attention after none of my power plays could hit. Um, obviously, there's some good days, there's some bad days. What's important is we keep our bankroll management. That's key, you know, and we just keep on going, um, providing analysis for our plays, and we'll have good streaks and bad luck streaks. So let's just keep going. Um, my first play of the day is bean j over 0.5 kills so this isn't actually i've never seen this kid play i will say that um i follow a lot of league of legends um i watch every single uh, key regions i would say the main regions i watch lpl lck lec lcs and even some cb law like that sort of stuff um never seen this team play i don't really follow the vietnamese league um, as far as I know, this is actually the second best team um, from Vietnam. The first best is going to the Asian Games, which is like the Asian Olympics, which has esports. They are going there, so they had to send their second runner up. Though they had to send the runner ups um, to MSI, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I expect T1 to absolutely demolish this team. Let me go ahead and say that they are like minus four thousand on Bovada. But with that being said, I expect them to kind of take it lightly just because they are against this team. And ex I kind of expect them to just kind of dilly-dally and just kind of play a little aggressive. And that, with the line being 0.5 kills, which if we look at his match history, it is May 9th currently. We can see that he has at least one kill literally every single game that is possible to view on his professional match history for the like past year um so it goes all the way back to december 10th these are all professional matches and he has at least one kill on every single one um most of them he has seven five like ten like he, he's a very aggressive jungler he plays champions like volley bear viego zen Zhao, lee sin champions that are going to get some of those kills especially viego and lee sin and I just love this play. Um, this would be my first play of the day. I don't really have a lock. I just have my five top plays for today. Um, next we have, uh, these aren't in order. So I'm actually going to go over Zayus next. So Zayus is my next favorite play. Just because the same analysis as I was just saying. I do expect T1 to win this like hard stomp incredibly like easily but i expect them to be a little bit cocky and have a little bit of fun with this if you don't follow league of legends t1 went 18 and 0 throughout their uh springs like see spring season it's their spring split and then they won their uh they won the spring split as well so they went 18 0 and then won that last series as well and i expect them to just easily win this game especially with those odds but if we look at Zayas, he has at least one death in almost every game. I think there are two games where he has zero deaths on his match history, which is like all the way up till January. So, I mean, it's very uncommon. There's three, four, four. Sorry, I thought there was two. There's four. But, I mean, it's very uncommon for him not to get a death. Mix that with the fact that they're, pl they're playing this Sagan Bowl or whatever, Sagan Buffalo. I expect this to just be them having fun, you know? And with that, as long as they win the game, they don't really care. So with that comes unintentional deaths or like just fun deaths. You know? So I expect the Zayas over 0.5 deaths and the Bean J over 0.5 kills to hit fairly easily. And those are two of my favorite plays for the day. The next three would be Alone over 1.5 kills. So he is on um, a Latin America team, and they are versus Detonation Focus Me. And the line was uh, 1.5 kills. And if you look at his match history, 2 kills, 5 kills, 5 kills, 2, 2, 4, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 2, 1, 
three 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 two 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 five two five like he very rarely misses this number um 1.5 kills is a very low number for a mid laner and when you look at the matchup it's like plus 200 to minus 200 something around those odds i think it's actually like plus 170 to minus 200 something similar to that and he tends to play champions like leblanc syndra ari Champions like that, that tend to get a lot of kills. Um, it's really easily, it's really easy to get two kills when you're playing champions like this. Even in just one team fight, like one, two, you're done, you know? Um, I highly expect this number to hit. This would be my next favorite kill, uh, my next favorite play. And then we have Danny and Ming. So I'm taking Danny over 3.5 kills and Ming over 1.5 deaths. So I actually prefer Ming first over Danny. Um, mainly because similar to the team one aspect, right? RNG are like plus 2,000 to win this game. They dominated the LPL and now they're going against is it Istanbul Wildcats or something like that. Fast pay Istanbul Wildcats, yeah. Um, which is kind of an unknown team. I mean, they're known, don't get me wrong, but they're like on a lesser, it's from Turkey. Yeah, they're in a lesser region. It's not like they're a European team or a Korean or Chinese team. It, it's Turkey, you know, so they're not nearly as good. And when you look at Ming's stats already, he tends to play these champions like Leona, Rail, Nautilus, which are tanks. So you would think that they die less. But these champions all have the sort of gameplay where you dive head first, you soak up a lot of damage, and once you die, your team has pretty much already killed the enemy team. And with that being said, he's going to be going in and initiating on a lot of these plays, especially when his top laner is someone that tends to play... Ben is a very, very good top laner, don't get me wrong, but he tends to play champions like... Jace, Jax, Nar, um, Kennen. So it's champions that do go in, but they're kind of just strong, like, let's just kill them, you know? So he, the main tank of the team is going to be Ming, and he, I, I don't see him getting less than three deaths, let alone two, uh, in this game at all. Um, they're going to be playing, like, like T1, they're going to be dilly-dallying. They're going to be playing for fun a little bit just because it's the first game of MSI. They're playing against teams where they are the major favorite. And with a line that is this low, 1.5 deaths, and we look at his match history and we see 5, 8, 7, 4, 2, 3, 3, 5, 2, 4. There are very rarely any games that he has less than two. Um, so, I mean, I really love this play. Especially with his champion pool, I am locking this one in. And the last play that I have is Danny over 3.5 kills. So this one I am a little bit iffy on. This is the play that I'm almost I almost left this one out, but so this is Evil Geniuses, which is a North American team, versus G2, which is a European team. And Danny has a lot of hype, I guess you can say right now. Um, I can see where it comes from. He is a great player, don't get me wrong. But he's not up to the skill level of some of these other AD carries, in my opinion. Like Flacid, which is G2's AD carry. Or Guma Yuzi, which is T1's. Or Gala, which is RNG's. He's not up to the level of some of those other AD carries. Although people compare them. Um, now, with that being said, he does tend to get a ton of kills simply because Evil Geniuses puts all of their resources on him, pretty much. Um, so you can see he gets 9, 3, 6, 8, 10, 8, 13, 5, 5, 5, 4, 8, 2, 1, 16. So he has a lot of double-digit events. 13, 10, 16, 10. Like, he tends to get a lot of these kills. But in this matchup... I think it'll be close, but I do think Evil Geniuses lose. I do think G2 win, just because the team overall seems to be better. But let's make it clear, this is MSI, right? So they play in their own individual regions, in their own individual areas throughout the year. But only a few times a year, two or three times, mid-season invitationals, worlds, things like that, do they actually combine and play versus each other. 
So I don't really know for a fact that Evil Geniuses will lose this game. And if they win, I expect it to be through Danny. So I expect him to hit eight, nine kills this game. If they lose, that's when this number becomes kind of iffy, where he might get four or five kills, or he might just get one. Um, so just be a little bit cautious on this play. If you do only play four of my plays, take Danny out, play the other four. Um, but yeah, so that's my analysis for the League of Legends games tomorrow. These are the only five plays that I'm running on prize picks. I am playing some more on hot streaks, but those lines have already moved, so there's no point in going over them. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.